What's up, guys? It's Jacques Slip, and today we're here at Nike World headquarters for day two of the LeBron 12 launch. Right now, we're going to go try on the shoes and work out with his trainer. All these guys have experience trainers, pro guys, youth guys, high school guys, all that. So we want to give you the real experience we can. All right, guys, what's up? It's Jacques Slade with Today in Sneaks, and I am at Nike World Headquarters for the launch of LeBron 12, and I just got to play in the first colorway, which is the NSRL, which is a Nike Sports Research Lab colorway that drops on October 11th globally. It drops October 1st in China, but anyway, it's $200 here in the U.S., and uh, which is the same price as last year's shoe. But let's talk about actually playing in the shoe. Now, this isn't an actual performance review. This is just a quick wear test, 20 minutes of doing some drills and shooting around, and I'm just going to give you my first thoughts on the shoe. The first thing I noticed when putting on the shoe is it's a little difficult to slide your foot into the shoe and that's because the entire upper of the shoe is almost like a booty if you've ever worn the Nike Hirachi you know how you can slide your foot into it has like the booty basically where you slide your foot in I think it's also on the Air Jordan 7 so this has that same concept uh, except that it has the mega fuse laid over it and it's a little difficult to slide your foot in I think that's partly because of the way that the lacing system works but the bonus to that is that it definitely keeps you locked in once your foot is inside the shoe thinking back to the mega fuse now the Mega Fuse on the upper is a little, it has like a textured feel, almost like it's beaded or threaded. And you see that uh, I believe Jason Petrie used a certain pattern, he used a pattern on the upper that allows it to still remain visible. I actually wore, trained, or I guess wore test these in the Elite socks, and I usually wear just the regular Nike dry fit socks. And my foot didn't feel really hot. I wear the dry fit one just because I feel like my feet get really hot really quickly. And I didn't have that experience with these. Um, next up, we have the hyperposite panels here that goes all the way around. It goes from the midfoot all the way over to the heel and it goes up towards the ankle. Uh, definitely keeps you locked in, but I wouldn't say it's as good as the Kobe's. Um, but again, this was just from a wear test, so don't, don't take that as gospel. Uh, next up is the cushioning. Now, there's been a big story about the hexagonal cushioning in the LeBron 12, how they have zoom in the forefoot and zoom in the heel and zoom in the forefoot, and that it's separated into these pods based on the pressure mapping of LeBron's foot. My, shoe, my foot is obviously not as big as LeBron's, so um, I would say that I didn't feel the pressure mapping as much or the, the sectioned off zones of zoom air as much, but I did feel the cushioning and these are very, very soft. And I think part of that is because the zoom is actually bottom loaded. Uh, Nike used Phylon here in the midsole and then they loaded the zoom beneath the Phylon, which kept these pretty cushy as far as, as far as my experience has been. Another thing, the shoe just really looks great. It looks great from toe down. Uh, I know there we had some leaked images and you guys have seen the leaked images, but really once you get the shoe in your hand, I really think it's gonna change your perspective. Uh, I love the little accents of how they made this about, it's a lot of data-driven colorways for the LeBron 12. So if, if you paid attention to the launch yesterday, they talked a lot about how, how hard LeBron dunks and the data that they got from this pressure mapping from the Nike Sports Research Lab. And I think it's, it's presenting a cool story for the shoe, but that's just my opinion. Again, this is just the first look, a hands-on sort of wear test performance review that I wanted to give to you guys. Traction is great. The rubber is is pretty pliable. It's not super soft like some shoes. Uh, I think these could definitely hold up to some wear and tear outside, especially with this mega fuse upper. It definitely will allow you to get some wear and tear out there playing on the concrete and playing on the cement and playing on the black top if that is the way you like to play. Personally, I like to play in the gym. The traction here at the Nike gym was pristine, as you can imagine, because they have like big time athletes playing here and then they have guys like us playing here and they know how horrible we are and they don't want us to hurt ourselves. So they give us uh, the best traction possible. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick hands-on review as always want to let you guys know i appreciate you thank you for watching uh if you haven't already make sure you like favorite and subscribe as always i'll see you guys soon peace my favorite part of the shoe has to be the box the hex if you look at it it looks very comfortable it adds so much more flexibility to the shoe it adds more explosiveness to the shoe it's like a shoe outside a shoe actually i mean you have this Oh.